show you how to use Design Express Full Color to create a message and send it out to the sign. We'll go to File, the New. I always like to zoom out so I can see what I'm working on. We'll go to the Text Tool. Now we have that, we'll hit Save New Text. I'll drag this out to about two and a half seconds. Move that up there a little bit. I'm going to make another line, so we click on the text tool again. And we'll save it. Go ahead and drag it down here. And now if we go to Objects, and go to Properties, we can change our font size there. Actually, I'm going to make this a little bit longer here. So now I'm going to play it. I'll go ahead and stop it. Now this red indicator here, this red indicator, you can move it to wherever um, basically you're seeing this frame right here you're seeing the frame at three and a half seconds the four second frame so you can see that this went away because that's no longer there we drag it and move it over we can then it would be in that frame but back here would not be back at the zero point we no longer see that now we have our message we need to save it two different ways one way we'll go file and then save as I'm going to type in the word test With the word test on there, we'll go ahead and hit save. Now, with that message, we can go back and edit it later. So now we need to save it so that the sign can recognize it. So when you go file, save rendered. We'll name it the same thing. We'll name it test. You notice how when you type it, start typing the word test, the one that we just saved comes up and it has a different extension. If this happens, you have to delete out that other extension. It's two different files. If you had that other extension there and did not delete it out, it will mess the file up. So we'll go ahead and save that. That's our rendered file. Now we'll go to File, Communications. We're going to send this file out to the sign. We did that by clicking on that satellite send button up top. And now you can notice that the file is not there that we just saved. You have to go down here and change it from scheduled files to rendered files. Scheduled files is just defaulted because once you learn how to do multiple files, you would probably want to put them in a schedule and just send them out at one time. So we'll go ahead and do the rendered file and we see our test. We'll click on it, hit open. It went really fast, small file. So now when you go into the file, and under the messages, We'll click on View. Now, one we just did was called Test. So we'll make it run as a quick file. Once the quick file is clicked on, we can click on the status. And we notice that our current run mode is in the quick mode. And the current message that's running is the test message that we just sent out. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Electronic Display Systems dot net